Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to good old Lustria. Now, first and foremost, I am very happy to hear that my uh, new audio setup is uh, doing its uh, charm, doing its good work. So it was a good investment for um, these sort of videos, and also a lot of coming videos. On another topic, on another note, I would just like to uh, briefly mention that I have been looking into mewing as of late, because I saw a comment asking about if I can make a video on mewing. Now, obviously, since I basically just uh, heard about the concept a few days ago, I don't really know much about it to uh, give a clear opinion. I do believe it's um, a very interesting thing. So basically what mewing is, it's uh, correct tongue posture and correct swallowing patterns. And uh, doing this from an early age can alter your face shape or make it more uh, natural. Um, so I will just link the uh, channel of uh, Dr. Mew below so that you can watch all of his videos, might get some new insights there, you might start mewing yourself. I will actually do it now to um, in the name of science, uh, I will do this and then come back with a report in a few months and see if I have noticed any difference in um, in health or um, or otherwise. So uh, yeah, that is my response to uh, to mewing. I am looking into it, but uh, I am not one to just um, hear something cool and then go with it. I would like to see more research and more experience with it. So. Um, that is my uh, take on that situation, but it looks promising. So uh, I encourage you to check out the link in the description if you're interested in uh, in the concept of mewing and correct tongue posture. Now, with that said, I have a uh, I've taken a few turns from our last um, episode because I thought to uh, speed up this uh, campaign a bit so we get to the epic battles. So I might make a few more episodes on. Uh, on this let's play and then I will go over to Assassin's Creed because I think I can reach a lot of normlings by doing let's plays in uh, in that game so anyway let us uh, do something fun here first and foremost we can research a technology and uh, we have forged to kill steel is only as strong as the hand that wields it that is very true indeed. So we have weapon strength and missile damage. Works for both. Uh, both works for our Corsair units. So that's obviously something that we want. Broken by the lash. Um, in in my dark elf uh, society, we we don't mistreat our beasts. So I can't really research this. I suppose I will have to if I'm gonna get to these things but um, yeah not uh, not something we need right now because this is for the cold ones and we don't have those now moreover we have tempered in blood it is often necessary to execute a few publicly of course to quench the fires of revolt in all the others income from slave pens and slave markets plus 10 percent that is obviously also quite good indeed so we have these two to choose from but uh, getting a good income in place is always um, good to have so we're gonna go with the tempered in blood there now without further ado we have a um, quest battler which I will take but uh, I need to take the turn first and uh, also by the way we need to recruit some units before because we are only at 17 and we don't want to fight a battle under strength so what I will do is simply to recruit a uh, unit of this I suppose some more line infantry and then the next turn I will hire these two uh, but I will not do it now because then we can skip the upkeep for this turn since you can start using them directly so yeah anyway I stumbled upon the concept of mewing I saw a, um, <laughs> because I stumbled upon a channel called Based Shaman, a uh, really likable and uh, and fun guy, uh, so you can check him out as well, Based Shaman, and uh, tell him that I sent you, uh, so um, do a surprise flex for him in the comment sections. Um, 
so that is how I stumbled upon that concept and I got uh, immediately intrigued because obviously all things related to self-improvement is uh, something that I take um, seriously because it's part of my holy work to uh, enlighten myself so I can enlighten others so I can enlighten you all so that is uh, that is how I stumbled upon that and uh, and yeah as I said I will um, read up more upon it and I will definitely watch all of Dr. Mew's videos on the topic now then Sacrifices let's to sacrifice something to Matlan and now I'm gonna recruit this mad cunt and uh, and also we can do something fun here but we don't need it to do that now now we only need to take this battle so the balance of power is not uh, in our favor and aha we can't use our um, our fleet it can't support us so that will be a bit blasphemous I suppose we have the sea serpent standard which um, it's quite good indeed. I'm gonna put this on, let's see, these lads, because they are high leveled. So yeah, let's get into it. So if we win this battle, we will obtain the Helm of the Kraken. Um, and we meet Bakbak -Bak Jolsef and a gathering of, uh, of vermin. So uh, yeah, this is a quest battle, so we're gonna see some sort of cinematic now. Boom. Steady, my Corsairs. The Skaven come. They think to board my tower in secret. But no creature steps upon the blessed dread without my knowing. The Rodan Sorcerer sends his minions, but this is no sinking ship. No rats are welcome here. Be merciless. The Kraken rumbles. My helm thirsts for the power it lacks, and these vermin filth will quench it! Done. The uh, vermin filth will uh, quench his uh, thirst for uh, for blood. And, alright, we are uh, we are doing it. We are... Uh, the battle is uh, at hand, and they start off by... Uh, Okay, they're getting quite wrecked, these, uh, these vermins, they are fleeing directly. But uh, that's a special ability this Gaven have to... Um... Okay, you don't need to shoot there. Right, now let's see what uh, what the crack is. They are... They're coming to us, so we can just stand... Uh, stand firm. So, yet again, speaking of... Uh, the benefit of making these sort of videos... Uh, the let's play is that I can elaborate very briefly upon a topic I don't really want to make a separate video on because had I made a separate video on, on um, mewing that would have been a bit pointless since I didn't have all too much to say at this particular moment in time but uh, now I have at least said that yeah in a, in a few months I can make um, a mewing video with my uh, with my conclusions so uh, that is uh, what is up and what is also up is that I will speed up the battle a bit aha uh -huh, they have spawned yet another unit there absolutely barbaric if anything and I need to bolster my army with some sort of sorceress or assassin or a death tag or something like that because uh, that can be a good investment especially a uh, magician a sorceress because now I don't even use magic so that's a lot of uh, a lot of casualties that could have been uh, caused but uh, no, we don't have it. And uh, they do this uh, quite well, I'd say. Uh, popping up uh, where you least expect them and where you least want them. 
this sort of mad cunts. And we have... Oh, this is not good. Rat ogres. Fortunately, they are running away though, so uh, that's good, I suppose. Kill everything. A good plan in a battle, I suppose. Now, look here. Get at him, boys. His uh, mission is to slay this bastard. And here we have a uh, magic dark conduit, which will cause an explosion. Boom. And uh, I suppose this... Aha, they're coming with reinforcements. I was just about to say that this, uh, this battle looked um, a bit easy, but... Uh, that is not the case. Not the case at all. Now we're gonna see a duel here as well. Luke here against... Oh look, he does not want to box with us. He uh, does not want to box at all. Come on then, stand and fight. And we can't really reach him either. Blasphemy. Oh well, he uh, he'll get wrecked. Now then, they are coming from two different directions. Not good at all, but uh, it is what it is. What they do have is Death Globe Bombardiers, and I cannot let them shoot at us because we're quite good. Now, let us see. We have some units running away. That is not acceptable. But uh, they are rallying, fortunately. Otherwise, I would have to decimate them Roman style. Now then, they are... Um, coming at us there. I think I'm gonna withdraw my troops here just a bit. So we don't get um, divided. So we don't get uh, divide and conquered. Now, obviously, where are? Aha! There they are. We need our flying units. So these are flying on dark pegasuses, and uh, they have crossbows, so quite useful. Um, quite useful indeed to uh, to harass uh, the units with. So you can use the sort of flying units not so much in melee combat, but more picking off their um, their fragile ranged units, such as these uh, death uh, death globadiers. Boom. The uh, the Kraken Lord looking looking quite juicy to be perfectly honest. And I suppose Do they do they even have anything more? Okay, they have some units coming there behind us. But uh, what more might they have? I don't know. They are uh, they're fleeing here at least, which is uh, which is good. That is joyous to see. Um, okay, so they do actually have quite quite a few units still uh, still going. And I will speed up the battle a bit. So, because uh, I do believe this is uh, this should be um, should have this battle. I can't imagine it to be otherwise. To be perfectly honest. And uh, yes, there we go. It looks like yeah, there we go. Boom, victory, nice. Glory for 
glory for Karankar and a good amount of loot. Absolutely joyous to see. And a rank gained. And um, yeah, let's enslave this uh, Skaven. They will uh, work on, um, on epic things to, uh, to appease Malekith, the Witch King. We have gained a follower. It is sometimes necessary to employ silver-tongued diplomacy to achieve one's desired ends. That is uh, absolutely true. That is a good um, thing to have. So diplomatic relations plus 10 with all factions, faction wide. And um, yeah, we have uh, achieved this mission. While in dock at Chupatayol, I will never learn to pronounce that. Uh, oh well, the Skaven Strike, their sorceress leader believes that they have weakened the Kraken Lord. And while he licks his wounds and pride in port, the Ratman will take the spoils and infamy for themselves. But they could not be more wrong. They are not the hunters, but the hunted. Fellhart knew the creature that cursed his helm would attempt an incursion here. So his crew lay in wait for the Skaven thieves to board. Afore the day is done, Fellhart shall sluice the deck in Ratblood and restore the helm of the Kraken to its former luster. Uh, okay, so we have the Helm of the Kraken now, and it uh, causes terror, that is good, and it uh, has a regeneration boost, so uh, absolutely joyous to, uh, to see. So what I will do now is uh, that I will probably take a few turns and uh, see what the crack is, but I will do that in the next episode I just wanted to um, game a bit and also respond to the mewing question so thank you for watching XOXO boom